I wish that I had the tenacity to make more videos, but I haven't been well, and for that I apologize. And I also have to apologize to the greenhouse, because I've allowed it to fall into this, well, less maintained state. But, while I came up here to water, I found this guy. And I think he's interesting enough to take a close look at. This particular toad has been a resident here for ooh, probably two or three years. And before you cite cruelty, I would like you to consider, look around. This place is an entire ecosystem. Now, I will grant that he's at somewhat of a reproductive disadvantage, but I imagine a lot of you are as well. He has no natural predators in here. And if he burrows enough, he'll find his way out. Some of them have before. We've raised some of them uh, from tadpoles before, and they make it well into adulthood. They're quite easy. Uh, no, a toad isn't. Careful guy. A toad isn't aquatic in the same way that he's, his close relative, a frog, is. But that doesn't mean that they can't swim. He's quite at home in there, and in fact, I can't remember if he was raised from a tadpole in the water barrel or not, but they quite easily climb the sides when they are ready and escape, and then just kind of hang out in the greenhouse, and they come and go as they please. But, what do they eat? Well, let me show you at least one of the things that they eat. Now, I think it's important to remember that whether we call this a frog or a toad isn't really important. This is a very similar creature to the slimy green version, so there isn't even a clear distinction in taxonomy. The basic body plan of a frog and a toad is just very similar, but they've both adapted slightly differently to differing environments. That's what evolution does. But back to this toad, as it starts to get cooler as the winter approaches, his metabolism will slow, and so he buries himself in preparation. This year, in the early spring, we even found him in the state of torpor while we were preparing the beds for planting. You have to be very careful when you dig for this reason. We just gently placed him in a soft recess in the corner and covered him back up with leaves. He was at about 1 64th speed, so I don't even think he noticed. I hope you found this interesting.